Circular Arcs Tipping Motion. A circular arc is a simple path of action, but the timing may be complex and textured. Consider this golf swing. First the motion slows out, accelerating up to when the club hits the ball. Then the motion is nearly uniform for a few frames before slowing to a stop. In animation, the term texture refers to the variation in timing and spacing of the motion. For slowing out, the spacings often follow the odd rule, as discussed in a previous video. For example, in simple falling motion, the spacings follow the odd rule. Now, if the spacings change faster than the odd rule, then the motion has more texture than falling motion. If the spacings change at a slower rate, then there's less texture. Uniform motion has no texture at all. Two basic types of circular arcs, tipping and swinging, have very different textures in their timing and spacing. Tipping motion has exponential spacings, which have more texture than simple falling. Swinging motion has sinusoidal spacings, which have less texture than simple falling. We'll discuss tipping motion in this video and cover swinging motion in the next video. A simple example of tipping motion, and one that's often used as an animation exercise, is a brick falling off of a table. You see that the brick rotates about a point as it tips, and that point is the center of the circular arc. Let's watch some video reference of a brick tipping over, filmed in slow motion. The texture of the timing as the brick tips over creates anticipation, which you often want at the start of a scene. In fact, anticipation is one of the principles of animation. It prepares the viewer for an action that's about to occur, which improves the visual flow of the action. As I mentioned, tipping motion has more texture than simple falling motion, and we see this in the motion curve. For simple falling, the motion curve is a parabolic arc. However, the motion curve for tipping has a more pronounced curvature. It starts out flatter and then plunges steeply. You can also verify that this motion curve for tipping is not a parabolic arc since it doesn't obey the fourth down at halftime rule. Another way to understand the texture in the spacings for tipping motion is this. A ball rolling down a straight ramp has spacings that follow the odd rule but a ball rolling down a curved hill has spacings that increase at a faster rate than the odd rule. Tipping motion has spacings similar to those of the ball rolling down the curved hill. The timing for tipping motion depends on the size of the object or character that's falling. The taller it is, the more time it takes to tip over. For example, if the man is four times taller than the baby, then it takes him twice as long to fall. Here's a related demonstration. Try to balance a cue stick in the palm of your hand. When the stick starts to fall, you have to correct the balance quickly. So how can you slow the rotation of the stick to make this easier to do? Let's watch and see. First, I balance the stick in my hand with the point upward. It's very hard to balance. Now I flip it and have the point of the stick on my hand. Now the stick is much easier to balance. The difference is that when the tip is pointing up, 
the heavy end of the stick is near my hand. In this case, it falls over quickly, like the baby tipping over. When the heavy end of the stick is higher up, then the stick tips over much more slowly. We'll see more about this when we study center of gravity and rotational inertia. Anyway, getting back to the brick tipping over, when it falls off of a table, does it go straight down the side of the table? No, the brick does not fall this way. Gravity pulls the brick downward, but at the same time, the table pushes on the brick upward and towards the right. From these forces, the brick slows out both in the downward direction and towards screen right. The table pushes away on the brick, which causes the brick to move away from the table as it falls. Eventually, the brick loses contact with the table and keeps moving to the right, like a ball rolling off of a table. Once the brick is in the air, its path of action becomes a parabolic arc. A similar motion occurs when a tall object, like a pencil, tips over on a flat surface. Let's watch it in slow motion. Now, if you look carefully, you see that the point slips backwards, but the pencil flies forward. However, just before the body of the pencil hits the surface, the point of the pencil has already moved back across its original spot. The pencil then continues moving in the direction of the tipping motion. This action uh, occurs quickly, but there's always a noticeable sideways motion once the pencil hits the surface. So in summary, tipping over is a common example of a path of action that's a circular arc. The timing and spacing for tipping motion has more texture than simple falling motion. The texture in this timing and spacing can create anticipation for the tipping motion. The taller the character or object, the more time it takes to tip over. When an object tips off of an edge, it moves away from that edge once it loses contact. In the next video, we'll look at swinging motion, which is also a circular path of action, but with a very different timing and spacing. See you then.